Hi everyone, and welcome to another FAQ Friday. Today we're gonna talk about returns and the return process we have here at Right Stuff Anime. We have it set up pretty simply to go ahead and place a return, but we get a lot of questions about what can you return, uh, what does the return process look like, and kind of all the different pieces involved with it. So we wanted to take some time and just kind of lay this out for you a little bit better and communicate on what we consider eligible for return for damage, if you change your mind, the, just the different options that you have in this process. So if an item arrives to you damaged, and it is something that we would consider damaged. In one of our previous videos, we talked about items that aren't damaged uh, based on what the publisher and the manufacturer don't deem as damaged. So if it's not being deemed as damaged, we can't return it as a damaged or send out a replacement because all of the replacements that we would have in our warehouse look at least that condition, if not, you know, lesser flow because we send out the best quality every time we send out an order. If you decide that it is damaged at that point, it's you changing your mind and we can do a refund for that. So we can't set up an exchange, but we can set up a refund. The process is still gonna be the same. You're still gonna to go to our returns page at writestuffanime.com, right here. And down here at the bottom, it will ask you for your order number. It will ask you for the reason. And this starts the process. Now a case is generated for this. It comes to our customer care team and then they will respond back to you within 24 to 48 hours, letting you know what the next step is. If you do have damaged product, we require pictures so that we can see what the damage looks like. And then based on that, you know, if we can actually do an exchange for you, um, an exchange works to where we will issue a return authorization number, an RA number. Um, you will then send back the item with that number. You do have to pay for the return shipping cost to us, but once we get it back, we will send the replacement out to you free of charge. If the item is not in stock, there can be delays. Uh, we are always getting shipments in from all of our publishers. We've talked about this in a previous video too, about getting restocks in. So as soon as we do have a replacement, we'll get it sent out. And if you're lucky enough that we do still have in stock items, we will get that order, the replacement order processed and sent out to you right away. If you are sending the item back for a refund, you've changed your mind or maybe got it somewhere else from a friend for a gift or anything like that, we do accept those. Again, you will pay for the return shipping cost back to us and we will issue a refund for the cost of the item. Now, if you had qualified for free shipping, there will be a shipping fee uh, added to the order. Whatever the shipping cost was for us to send it out to you, that's gonna be deducted from your refund. We can't just send out orders for you to, have, for you to change your mind and then send it back to us. Um, and it, it, it costs us money, so we pass that on as part of the refund being deducted from, from your balance. However, once we do have the item back in, we will issue a refund right back to the payment method that you had selected. And that usually takes about two to three business days depending on uh, your bank and how fast they process transactions. Every day we get returns in here. Our customer care team does a great job and goes through and puts those onto, onto the account um, and starts the refund process or the exchange process. And then our accounting team processes the transaction. So it really is just a matter of days once we get the item back in here in our warehouse and everything should be taken care of at that point. So really, the process is quite simple. You go to the page, you file why you're wanting to send the item back to us or what's going on with the order. Our customer care team gets a case, starts the process, and then once we get it back in here, we get to taken care of. We hope you don't have too many returns, but we know that they do happen, and hopefully this helps you out a little bit if you do run into a situation that you need to send the product back to us. We hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you next time.